House of the Dragon, Episode 6. This is what I think. Boring! This show is boring. I'm sorry. But I'm just not into it. It's just like, you know, Episode 6 was like, Oh, look, look at all these kids everyone's having. And look at all these uh, characters that you might get attached to. But then they're, they might be kind of cool. But then, you know, we're just going to kill them. Like the Aaron Rodgers dude that um, Rhaenyra started having babies with. You know, he might have been pretty cool. He seemed uh, pretty cool, but then he dies at the end. In a stupid way possible. They, they showed literally like that scene for like maybe three seconds. I barely knew who it was that died. And then you have Damon's wife over here. You know, that underage girl that they wanted, uh, you know, the king to marry in the beginning. And then she grew up. She started popping out kids with Damon. And then they kill her at the end of episode two. And there's not really, it's not really a big death, but we haven't had time to develop an emotional attachment to these people. So like when they died at the end, I was just like, oh, whatever. But it's just, you know, nothing really went on in the episode. And like the past, like the only thing that I could recall in the past, all the six episodes was the coolest part was maybe like that 15 to 20 minutes of Damon rushing the crab feeder, hacking away and killing those people. And then even that kind of gets flashed at the end. First of all, we don't know, they don't show much of the whole battle for apparently three years of them fighting the crab fears, them fighting them off. We have no idea what's going on. And then at the end, yeah, Damon, you know, he's cutting through these people. And then they don't even show the confrontation of him and with the crab feeder. So, you know, that whole buildup of this guy being such a badass, we don't even get to see it. And we only get to see him die. So, you know, this whole buildup of him hacking away, this cool battle scene, it just ends kind of abruptly. And a lot of things in this show just kind of end abruptly with very little con uh, climax. Like, you have Rhaenyra, literally like an episode before they did the age switch, another 10-year time jump, saying to, uh, what's the Mother Sunday, uh, the, the, the queen... She says to her, hey, you know, I just don't want to be popping out kids. You know, I don't want to do my royal duties. You know, I don't want to do what's expected of me. I don't want to do my own thing. And then literally like the next episode later, she popped out a bunch of kids. And it's like, you know, I, I would understand that if they spent an episode or two developing, you know, her turnaround on the idea of, you know, hey, you know, I have to have kids or... You know, my claim to the throne's not going to be good, yada yada. Or, if they didn't lean so hard on it in an episode before. Like, if they were just like, oh yeah, you know, I just don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to be... I, if they didn't lean on so hard of her not wanting to... She just contradicts herself, you know? Oh, I don't want to pop out a bunch of kids just for, uh, you know, tradition. But it's like, then you do that, like, literally like an episode later. And it's like, what are, what are we doing? And, you know, people like to, the, you know, I've heard people on the online saying the clubfoot dude, he's like the new little finger. They call him middle finger. We've seen the guy like four times. And, yeah, he devised that the plan apparently at the end where he burned Aaron Rodgers' guy and uh, Rhaenyra's, you know, the, the dude's family and stuff. But it's like, you know, it's, it's just, you know, little finger when he plot a plan it took episodes to manifest or maybe even seasons and he was just so sneaky and so fucking good maybe all these actors aren't you know didn't do as good of a job as they did in game of thrones because from episode one i was hooked on every single character varus littlefinger jamie all these people you know john snow sean penn and it just i don't know maybe we've lowered our standards because everyone seems to love this show i mean it's not bad but it's just not very good maybe just because it's lined up with uh lord of the rings show i mean i haven't watched that show because i don't have amazon prime because i canceled it because jeff bezos he didn't send me my godzilla dvd box set actually he did but i didn't check my mailbox and they sent me another one so he sent me two so out of spite i canceled the subscription but that's another story. But nonetheless, it's just, you know, the first six episodes of Game of Thrones were so much better than this. Like, this is so slow, and then they do these time skips, and it really just messes things up. 
the first six episodes of Game of Thrones, like, you saw, like, the world. You saw things developing. You saw, like, cool little things, like, going on. And it's just, you know, I, I got attached to almost all the characters. Almost all the characters. You knew what they wanted. You knew what they were doing. And there was just so much more... It was just so much more flushed out. And the thing with the House of the Dragon, it's like... I, I like Rhaenyra. She's kind of cool. But then she contradicts herself. And I thought she was going to be like a lone wolf. But then she contradicts herself. And yes, now she's in a little bit of trouble. And even Damon, he's pretty cool. But it's like, you know, they're not really doing anything. Damon has his moments. But besides Rhaenyra and Damon, everyone else, I'm just like, you know. And Melisande or the Queen, whatever her name is. I forget what it is. You know, I kind of liked her at the beginning, you know. like it, it seemed like she had a true affection for the king, but then you find out, you know, she was only doing it on her father's behalf. And that guy, you know, they, they like to make it seem like he devised this whole big plan to, you know, spy on people. Like, he was, like, this master of whispers. He just told the dude, hey, you know, hey, kid, you know, spy on these people for me. And that's about as far as that deep plot went. And then they like to vilify him, like, as this master master spire and they were so upset it's like dude obviously this dude's gonna have tabs on people he's the hand of the king you know it just doesn't make sense like that they were so upset by that and it's like they, they only really you know nailed him at the end is because uh they didn't want to believe what his uh his informants told him but this show i mean like i said it's not bad it's just that i'm hearing so many people on the internet saying oh it's the best show ever you know now we're rolling now things are getting going not really what happened this episode the breakbone dude the guy that looks like aaron Rodgers, renera's husband yeah he beat up fucking sir cole but you know that, that was about it everyone had babies two new characters that we saw that may have been cool they just killed them off so now we're stuck with these fucking bozos that, you know, I don't know if it's like they're acting or the writing, but I think definitely the time skips are hurting everything. And I don't know, but that's my unpopular opinion. So let me know if anyone agrees with me. Probably not going to be many of you, but uh, comment below to let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully it gets better from here.